Man, I really wanted us all to play Monopoly, but none of us know how. Don't be sad, kids. Playing Monopoly is fun and easy. Yay! All you have to do is follow my simple nine-step plan. Before we get started, let's make sure that we have everything we need. You should have one game board, money in stacks of ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, one hundreds, and five hundreds. 32 houses and 12 hotels, 28 property cards, chance and community chess cards, one pair of dice, and eight game pieces. The first step to playing any game of Monopoly is easy. All you have to do is choose a game piece that comes in the box. I'll be the dog. I'm taking the top hat. I got the rubber duck. I guess I'll be the shoe. The next step you need to complete before playing is to assign one player to be the banker. Typically, this should be the person smartest with math. The banker will consistently be exchanging money throughout the game. Well, I think I should be the- Let's make Theo the banker. Hey. For this last step before playing, have the banker divide out the money so that each player starts with $1,500. Each player should get two 500s, four 100s, 150, 120, two 10s, one 5, and five ones. Then have everyone roll the dice. The player with the highest number will go first, and the player order will continue in a clockwise rotation. Now it's time to start playing. Have all the players start on go, then have the first player roll the dice and move. It looks like Tony has landed on a property space. Those are the spaces with the colored tags which increase in value as you go along the board, brown being the cheapest and blue being the most expensive. This looks like some good property. I'm gonna buy this. The banker then gives the player the property card they are buying and the player pays the base fee on the board. That ends the player's first turn. Yay, it's my turn. I landed on the Monopoly equivalent of New Jersey! You can also choose not to buy a space. There are also other spaces on the board, such as the railroads, which increases in rent paid by other players for each railroad owned community chest and chance spaces, where you have to draw a card from their respective spots and perform the action. Income tax and luxury tax spaces, where you pay the fine listed. Utility spaces, similar to railroads, they increase in rent when you own both. The go space, where you collect $200 whenever you pass it. And finally, the go to jail space, where, you guessed it, you go to the jail space for three turns, and all of your property can't collect rent for those three turns. We are now a little bit further into the game, and all of our players have acquired a bit of property. But now, it's time to step into one of the most important parts of the game, trading. Let's take a look at Theo and Tony. Now, Theo owns two orange spaces and a pink space, while Tony owns two pink spaces and an orange space. Let's see what they do. Tony, I'll trade you my pink space for your orange space, and I'll throw in $100. Make it $200 and you've got a deal. Deal! As you just saw, Theo offered a trade, in which both of them gain full color sets, which we'll get to in a second, while also offering some cash, since he knows that a full orange color set is more valuable than a full pink color set. Tony then proposed his counter offer, and Theo took the deal. We have moved a little further into the game, and now all of our players have acquired at least one color set, with some players carrying a little more cash than others. It's finally time to talk about houses and hotels. Take a look at this property card. As soon as you have a full color set, you can start buying houses for your spaces, which have the price to buy and the price for rent on the card. Let's watch the game. I'm gonna buy four houses and a hotel for this space. That was a very risky investment. Notice how Noah also bought a hotel. Hotels are just like houses, except you need four houses to buy one. <laughs> Guess it's my turn.
Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! James has just landed on Noah's expensive space, and now he has to pay the price. Uh-oh. James doesn't have enough money to pay rent. Looks like he'll have to mortgage some properties in order to pay the fine. When you mortgage a property, you gain the amount of money listed on the card, and you still technically own the property, but its rent claiming capabilities become null. If you have any houses on the property, you must sell them for half of the original price you bought them for back to the bank before you can mortgage them. You can buy back any mortgage properties after all fines are paid. Ah, poop. Looks like James has gone bankrupt. This is a scam! All of James's mortgage property now goes to Noah. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened! Which Noah can buy back and use. I hate this game. Now the game continues with all of these combined rules until only one person is left. You're a monster! You gotta be the dumbest person I've ever met! How do you both keep passing over every one of my spaces? While learning all of these rules and regulations, it's important to remember the true reason we play the game. To spend time with our dearest loved ones. And that's how you play Monopoly.